Yeah, this hand is good. I like this. I go first. Oh, it's missing a mountain. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. It's got a two drop. I gotta. It's got army, armory veteran. So. This is looking vaguely familiar. Warlock class. See, now it's different. <laughs> now it's way different. Uh, no magic missile here. I think I just play the thing and then pass. He wants to try a swing for two and race me. I'll be happy to oblige, but I'm waiting for a better target for the magic missiles. Maybe get a two for one out of the deal. And look. Oh, wait a second. I remember this. <laughs> Boy, does that card make magic missiles awkward because it's like, okay, I'm gonna do one and two. Okay. Well, then he sacrifices in response, and then he gets plus two, plus two. So I kill the hired Hexblade. That gets bigger. Okay, I do three to that. Okay, it dies. I spent magic missiles to deal one damage. <laughs> it ticks me off this entire game. I'm just like, I can't figure it out. <laughs> so you can swing for two and pump and kill them both. I'm happy to do that. Yep. You can pump pre-combat, then swing both, and then get him for another point of damage. If you really like. But I wanted to play the bas basilisk in case he attacked, which I doubt he would against this board. Man, that magic missile is so awkward. Rim bounty, yeah, okay. Ooh, nice treasure. Very nice. Well, play Boots of Speed, and since you're not going to magic missile. I mean, you could put it on that. Indeed. Yeah, you can't do both, though. No, don't do that. Mm -mm. Don't do that. That's gross. You don't want to do that. Stop. So, if you would like to double block for Boots of Speed, I would kill the Ghoul, and then I can play Magic Missiles. That's the play. Yeah, get in there for three. Might as well swing both. Yeah, get in there. He's either double blocking or just blocking one. But that's... Okay. <laughs> he double blocks that. In the end, <laughs> I just wanted to kill the ghoul. So... Sixteen. Now, magic missiles is awkward because it's like, well, do I kill the four three? No, I think I just play my own swarming goblins and pass. He's down to three cards. I could kill the hexblade and one one. But then I don't really be efficient with my turn. So I think just playing my own swarming goblins and passing is fine. It gets another target for his graveyard for my frog hemoth. He's drawing lands. I will trade the swarming goblin for swarming goblin if offered. We'll trade a 1-1 one, one for a 1-1, one, one, if offered. Wow. That's pretty good. 
Yeah, that needs to die. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it's a good magic missiles target. Ooh, interesting tech. Yeah, I agree with that block, for sure. Um, yeah, I think magic missile here, killing the 3-2 and 1-1-1. One, one, one. And then putting boots of speed on your 1-1 one, one goblin and attacking for two. It's a mini meteor storm. Here we play land. He would have to double block in order for the swarm and goblins to die. Which, no, don't. He'll double block. You don't want that. You don't want that. You should have swung with the 1-1. One, one. He was double block. You would trade that 1-1 one, one for 5 damage. That's, that's goblin grenade. See, I don't like how I played any of that. Man, just swing for two there. You know, then you swing with the frog hemoth, and it's like, ooh. Now, okay, I get one good swing in with the frog hemoth, and now the um, artifact will keep me down. Uh, do I have enough? No, I can't. I'm a mana short. Yeah, you definitely want that. No, I'm two mana short. One extra damage. Boop. 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 Up to five. There you go. It's plus four. So now he's got to keep it tapped. And then get in there with Noel Hunter, put him in the map five. He's still got plenty of lands. He's got four. Look at that. What'd you get? Ooh, a Valor Singer. Can't play it though. Mana short. Get in there. To five. Pass his turn. Plays my mountain. And I'm pretty sure he scoops here because I guess he forgot about the 50 feet of rope. Good game. He's at four. Or he's about to take four next turn, so I don't know why he. I think he did some wrong math there. <laughs> I would not have conceded there. Um, next game. Solid opener. I would say. Battle cry, battle cry. Swarming goblins. This almost looks like a constructed deck. Almost. It's not. Kill tank first. I don't know. Do you do that? Wouldn't the tank want that? Yeah, that's a very pretty mountain. I agree. And he's using the sleeves I'm going after. Ooh, this guy. We have the same taste in cards. Inkling Battlecry Goblin. Man, he's playing Boros. I'm playing Gruel. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to play the Bard next. Or the Singer next. Bard, Singer. About the same thing, right? Oh, I need a new chair. It's too squeaky. Oh, no, my hair. It messed up. Just hasn't been cooperating with me. What you got for me? Nothing? I'd like nothing. Cleric. Okay. That makes my uh, Valor Singer play even better. Because he's not going to block, so. 
If the trade is offered for Battle Cry Goblin, I might take it. But then again... Ooh, I don't know. The Life League Paladin... Yeah, I think that's gonna be Hunter's Marked. And then on the Valor Singer, and then you can swing for... with the Valor Singer. Yeah, just do... Just do Hunter's Mark, kill the 2-2. Two -two. And then swing with Valor Singer. That's my play. Now, he is on two lands, so never mind. He should play Battle Cry Goblin. And swing with everything haste. You'll trade one Battle Cry Goblin. Actually, you trade both. Eh, okay, I can wait till next turn to do that. Yep, okay. You would trade the 2-2 two -two for the 2-2. Two -two. I don't like the double swing with the... Uh, both battle cry goblins. Next turn, though. Ooh, gonna get him. Yeah, this just sucks for this guy. Kill tank first. He's stuck on two. Probably has a solid hand. Maybe a quick Boros deck. That makes it so much worse. Maybe he plays a land and a creature, though. I would not attack if I were in his position right now. No, 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 no. You don't attack. Alright, so you can play Lance Warming Goblin and then win the game next turn. Yeah, I think so, because I got the mountain in hand. And then swing for... No, you can Swarming Goblin here. Just Swarming Goblin. That'll be fine. I know, you want to play aggressive, I know. I guess you would be trading one for it, and then... Okay, you only need one Battlecry Goblin. You've convinced me. You can play your Battlecry Goblin. Give it haste. Uh, you have to do that, yep. And that's because I get two goblins out to deal for that, and then the next turn I get more. Yeah, he's still stuck on two. I think swarming goblins was probably still the play there, honestly. Yeah. I want to say, my bad, dude. Sorry that you're having trouble. Pretty sweet Boros deck. He's just stuck on land. It is what it is. No! You don't need to do all that. I guess it does make a goblin. So... It didn't matter. He was stuck on two lands. So I'm 4-0 now. How am I going to screw up the next two games? Well, probably we'll be involving uh, land issues. Opponent goes first. I'm going to be greedy and keep this, aren't I? No, no, I'm not good. That's way better. Get rid of and much, much better hand. So proud of my mulliganing this couple games. Still drew the land. Good enough. Has a two drop, so I'm gonna play my own. Cause I don't wanna risk the battle cry goblin. Really? I guess I was worried about Counterspell because blue, but I have a second one, so... I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. No blocks. Two, three? Yeah. That's no good. Guess I play my own two, three. 
You gotta play a land first. No, that's not the play. Still gotta play land. <laughs> yep. No blocks or attacks. Huh. Yeah, this is tricky. What you got for me? Four land or four cards. Wizard class. That's gonna be a problem soon. Untapping a blue. Leveling up. Drawing two cards. Okay. That's pretty good. And then I draw a six drop. Okay. So I play Morning Star. Swing in. You could play that, yeah. I don't know if I agree with that so much, but I guess it does make two goblins. Turn one away. Goes to 13. Next turn, play Morning Star. Hopefully, it get picked up. Uh, don't attack with the Battlecry Goblin. Army, Armory Veteran getting in there with the Morning Star. Things are looking okay. Pretty sure I'll still lose this though. Somehow. Ah. Now I remember. He just gets there with that 3-3. Three, three. And look at this herd gorger just sitting in my hand doing nothing. Look at all these Battlecry Goblins. Ah, uh, well you can't attack with the 2-3, but you can attack with your Goblins. So I would swing with both Goblins and... That's it. You can't play the Morningstar before you swing though. If I were him, I would block one with the 2-2. Two -two? Maybe, maybe not. And then play a warning star. I don't want to play veteran. Well, I guess I could play veteran. But I'm feeling like the goblins are better here. So now we have to pump once. I don't know if I agree with this block so much. I mean, just take four. I guess if he didn't block, he could take... Uh, two, four, six, so. You don't play the Battlecry Goblin because that gets haste next turn. This was a complete misplay on my part. Either play the Veteran or the Morning Star. Oof, Albert. I personally play the Veteran because then that causes him to have to double block, but. I remember thinking it's not going to matter because, look, he's got plenty of blockers, so... Almost to the hill giant. What are you going to do? Swing all? And then what? Blocks the 2-3. You have two goblins. You trade both of your Battlecry goblins. And then... Yeah, you can't exactly do it either because you need to trigger the ability. It blocks one for one. But if you don't attack, the ranger is just going to get out of hand. So, play Morning Star. Yeah, this is not a good attack. Now the 3-3 three, three goes on the 2-3. Kind of showing your hand by already activating the four blocks. Uh, I really don't like this. You're doing all this just to get six damage in. And he goes to five. Now he's got 
a ranger that he's just gonna get out of the way with. I guess what I was thinking was maybe my armory veteran can get in now that the Morningstar and veteran can get in. But you got a 4 4 now and a 2 2 flyer. He's completed the dungeon. He's making 2 2s. He's about to start drawing cards over and over. Yeah. Not looking great. Magic Missile. One turn too late. Well, you can Magic Missile the 2 2. Which. Probably needed. Uh, I would swing both here and then Magic Missile. Because if you swing both, right? He. No, you swing both. You block, block, Magic Missile. And then deal damage to him. Okay, what I'm thinking is I just need to find ways to deal two damage to him. And then, if I do that, I can magic missile his face. That's what I'm thinking right now. Now we have three goblins. Play your veteran. What are you doing? Now he's just going to block with the wolf. I don't like this play. I like my other play. Swing both and then blow them out with it. I mean, I guess I gotta find a way to get two damage in. 4-1, jeez. So magic missile is gonna be real good here. Going on the 2-2 two, two, and the 4-1. You have to do it now. Okay. And then he's left with a 2-2. Two, two. Can't do anything about... Kind of want to draw him out. And a goblin. Oh my. Yeah, you could play that to stop his 4-4, but it's probably just not going to survive. I like the Magic Missiles play here. And then, but then that's all I'm doing, so I'm probably not going to do that. I'm probably going to play that. Yeah. That's just not going to do it. He has the 1-1 one, one Goblin. You gotta play Magical Missiles here. Or that. I agree. No attack. You're going to take 6. It's going to make your Ranger into a 1-1. One, one. So you can't block. Yep. <laughs> Swing with the 2-2? Two, two? Too scared. Go to 8. Okay. Venture into the dungeon. It's 1 plus 1 counter. On what? Probably the goblin. Maybe... Okay. Alright, we're playing Magic Missile next turn. I have to, yep. Or else we can't block the ranger anymore. Ugh. Yeah, we gotta do it now. No, that's bait. You just gotta do it. Gotta do it. Can't not do it. It sucks. It sucks. Can 
Come on. Yeah, plus two, plus one. Yeah, that does suck. And then you can you can uh, equip the mace next turn. It'll be okay. But you gotta kill those two things. Oh, we can't take. We can't not equip. What is he thinking about? What am I past self thinking about? You play that, you lose. He equips and just swings with flyers. That loses the game. Like, what are you thinking about there? Must really be thinking about that two damage or two damage I need to get through. But now he just equips, and then I have to chump with the ranger. And you do that after attacks. It's just like, okay, well, what if we took it now? Now I can't play magic missile. You know. Which is awful. Now he just taps my 4 1. And wins the game by equipping. So. Not sure why I played that so bad. Yeah, that was not. That was not good. I definitely could have won had I played way differently. I think I was just way too stuck on the idea that magic missiles was going to deal three damage to his face. So in my brain, that was what magic missile was doing. So I wasn't even considering any of the other options of, well, kill the 4-1 the or kill the 2-2. Two -two. The 2-2 two -two is causing you to lose the game. So, or maybe had I magic missile way earlier when he was low on creatures, I could have played the mace, got the armory veteran online, so many other things, because that was what required two mana, two red mana. Yeah, definitely looking at this uh, this game again, I can see myself winning it had I played it much, much differently, which is good because had I not watched this game, wouldn't have learned that. Hope you're learning something too.